My wife is a bitch. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you are going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first. That is correct. Right? That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Okay, so how did Sayaka attack first with the knife? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. I mean, Sayaka was the one that was trying to kill. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack, which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked first. You guys are really slow in catching up on the shit. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen no, knife. No, it was Sayaka. Herself. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka, but so she grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the cult then, after they broke her wrist with the Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used no, the sword to defend No, that's what I'm saying. What? How the hell can you not think that? Because she never held the sword at all. There's a Yeah, her hands were clean completely. The part of her body that shows she never used the sword. If you wanted to use a sword, which part of your body would have the the palms? Her palms were completely clean. I got it. You're talking about her palms, right? The palms of her hands were perfectly clean. Yep. So what? How can you know that just by looking at the palm? Because they were fucking clean. What do you think I'm like blind? Said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. In fact, if you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. Ugh, it's safe thing. to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. So who in here has gold shit on their There's hands? There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. That will answer our question. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. How the fuck would she do that while she was under attack? Sorry, but I don't think so. That's a fucking Why stretch. Oh my god, with this shit again. Shut up, please. No, that's not it at all. There's no way Sayaka washed the gold coating off her hands because there's a certain regulation that talks about what happens in the bathrooms at nighttime. The water was off. According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. Which I still don't understand why that's a thing, but okay. At nighttime. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at nighttime, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Actually, I have Ew, what the fuck? We've been here for like days. Oh my. You're no different. You smell like a big fat ugly donkey. Damn, girl, can you mm -hmm. calm down? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. An insult, obviously. So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword... Sayaka was that the means... one that... Blah, blah, blah. The killer is the only one who used God. the sword. God. But hold on. That's right. And the one who damaged the sheath. Yes, I've been saying that for 20 minutes now. The one who damaged the sheath, but how do you have it? Sayaka! I got it! Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? But we already said that the attack started with the kitchen knife. She attacked them first. The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used so as a So she invited whoever defense. this person was in an attempt to kill them, and she failed. Who attacked first was... Which isn't too much of a surprise, Sayaka? because she was going crazy about Not how she couldn't understand. be here. She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No, far from it. It's almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. What? She took the knife from the kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation... Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Nakuto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility. No way. No? I loved her. Don't tell me she was that much of a bitch. I will be so upset. That would also explain why she would switch the name. Oh, that. My wife is a she bitch. To get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying, and by committing the murder there instead of her room. Oh, you kidding me? Makoto. I but loved her. I gave her an expensive bag. While still keeping the room swap a secret, 
If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of oh, that kind God. of cut. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Uh, Wait, then you're saying she had this all I'm plan so out. mad right now, like oh, I'm so shit. upset at this. But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her What I don't understand still is what the numbers on the wall the was for. I still don't know what that was for. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Just hold on! That can't be true! Because... Because... Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument! You're being super boring right now! Oh, we stop on, rushing us all the time? This is a very complicated Wouldn't decision. It be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Oh, there isn't yeah. even a timer. How do we know how much time we have? Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate okay. on figuring right. out the answer to this So mystery. who would she invite? Who has- I mean, I guess they would have washed their hands by now. It's over for all of us. Is is it really all over? Obviously, I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. There is a few things left, actually. All right, here we go with this again. Dying message. Yes, that's definitely what I wanted to find out. It's easy just to say, "Hey, decide who did it," but there just aren't any more clues, right? Is that? There still might be one clue left. Sayak is exactly. dying message. Exactly. But we have to figure out what it means. Dying. Wait, wh what did you say? The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her. Remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote yep, it? Yep, I got proof she had blood on her finger. There's no question that Sayaka wrote the message. I got it! Got it! Her left index finger had blood on it. Yep. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. That is 100% accurate. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? I have no fucking clue. One, one, Maybe someone here can answer that. Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd I asked whatever, her before right? and she pretended you like she didn't fucking know. Numbers and shit. No, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. What? Huh? What? What? No, it's just a look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. What? Don't these first two, one one, look less like two numbers and more like one N? One? Oh, you're right. Looks like an N kind the of. The connecting line is barely there. Oh shit! So I assumed it was one one, but looking at it now, you could oh. also read it as an oh. N. Whoa! You might have finally just said something worth. Whose name starts shit. with an N in here? <laughs> But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. Damn it, it's no use. I just don't know. Rotate the image 180 degrees. Huh? Rotate it? I I think maybe maybe I see something. Oh my god. Now I see Oh, oh who is it? Who is it? Down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the I kind of feel bad though forever we pin it down on because they came in there not expecting they were gonna get attacked and they were just defending himself. But I guess you know, it's fucking Saka's dying message reveals the real killer's name. If you turn her message 180 degrees, it should become crystal clear. So, oh, uh, uh, Leon. 
Leon? Are you kidding me? All right, I'm going for Leon. Here's my answer. The key to solving this mystery was That's simply insane. to insane. I didn't expect Leon at all. What the fuck? Degrees. If you turn the message around, oh shit! It becomes the letters. Oh my god, dude. O N L E O N. Or more accurately. All right, bro. What do you got to say for yourself? Oh, <laughs> he's scared as fuck. About? It's just a coincidence. Really? She wrote your it's name while she was dying? Random squiggles that happen to look like my name. I don't know. You're looking pretty defensive right no, now. It's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally and had to write upside down, as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters... Oh no, yeah, I totally see that, yeah. That, that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. No, it sounds pretty damn, like, evidence. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. Uh, no, I'm pretty positive you're the killer. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Oh! Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of- I, I actually don't recall. <laughs> the evidence that Leon tried to get rid of. It's that thing I found on the ground in front of the incinerator, right? Oh, it's either the crystal- It must be the sleeve. The sleeve, right? Um... That, yeah. I, I hope. I don't think it's the crystal ball. I got it. You mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it mm, into the incinerator. Yes, yes. But one piece burned off and got left behind, and the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right? Leon. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, he doesn't have anything to say. That Leon is guilty. Yes. Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button up. That, that's right. There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yes. The burnt remains of the button-up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. Where was it? How was this boat of when it was this boat of? Ooh, shit. Um... <sighs> okay, uh... Fuck, I don't know, like... How it was disposed of... When it was disposed of. Maybe when? Ugh. When. The time the shirt was destroyed. If we focus on that, the killer will become clear. Oh. I, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Uh, oh fuck, I fucked up. Well, at least that's only the first time I fucked up. Okay, so it's not that. So... Uh, where? Oh, God damn it! Ah, oh, fucked up again. God damn it! Shit, I'm fucking up already, and I'm I was doing good until this point. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If we look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on, either. You'd need the key to get in. And the one with the key was... the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? Not exactly. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> no, that's wrong. There was another way to use the incinerator without being the one on cleaning duty. And that's exactly what proves that Leon is the real killer. Oh uh, god. Was it the crystal ball? Yes! What did he fucking throw the it at the button? The trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy it. Nope. No, that's wrong. 
fuck off, Leon. You lying bitch. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it? Some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but uh But how would you use it? Throw it at the button? I don't know. The killer had to use the crystal ball in a certain way, which was throw it. I got it. And the he's a baseball player, so he knows how to throw shit. Oh, dude, and that makes sense. Ball through a gap in the game. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate. Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on? Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Hifumi had the key, so the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they got the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went yep. inside the trash room. And the only one that could throw something that's, you know, that well the is someone who's an box. ultimate the baseball player. Running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Well, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from You're the fucked, dude. Just accept it. Just accept it. Least 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? that that's right! There's no way! It'd be impossible! Difficult? Absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. God, this game is amazing. Is... I'm loving it. It would have had been much more of a challenge at all for the killer because ultimate baseball star! I got it. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star! Isn't that right, Leon? <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so. Any idea oh how man. You sound right now? Uh, actually, sounds pretty intelligent. If Thirty feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. Oh god, this is. Oh, he's so you, fucked. You, you can't be serious. I, I, I'm not the killer. Yeah, These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong. I'm telling you. You still won't admit it. Okay then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime okay. perfectly clear. Okay, alright. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Uh, you kill you. On, but all the questions have been answered, and the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. Closing argument is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Yes. This is a long process, fucking for real. Every case has one last element to bring the class tri trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you'll give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the flow of events for a case in the form of a comic book. However, you'll notice that in the comic, there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. Also, if you take aim at the missing sections and press the left mouse button, holy cow, you'll get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. All right, sounds simple enough. Puzzles are simple, I think. All right. Okay, um... Oh god, okay. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Clean that. Um, through the ball. Through the shirt. And that was a... Oh god, is that right? I hope that's right. Okay. Um The killer is Jesus you. Christ, I hope that right. I hope I did that right. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Yes. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier.
But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. Damn. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Fine. Oh, I fucking didn't mean to skip that, sorry. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily. And there was a trick to opening. Sayaka knew about that because I told her. But of course, the killer had no way of knowing. Jesus. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. I'm still mad at her because she was a bitch trying to frame me, but I, she was still my wife, so... With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot, and that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Boom! Oh god, like, all this crazy drama action going on. Leon. Dun dun dun, we did it! It appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. Yes. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! You I object, object because you know you're, uh, you did it. I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! We just went through Where's every evidence? fucking evidence we have. Without evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it! Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. Am I? I have the evidence? Uh, what? What is that? Oh god, what? Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you'll engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. We like to refer to this as the bullet time battle, aka the BTB... BTW... During the BTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in which... in the time with the rhythm... A uh, what? This is a fucking music dance game? Match button pre- uh, uh... Okay, 
this is gonna be a blast. I'm gonna press my hand to lock it. This made you lock to the llama. Okay. Alright, fucking let's try, I guess. This game has, like, fucking everything. Ah, uh, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, let's go. Deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak spot statement will appear. At this point you can press the left mouse button to shoot down the truth bullet like any other statement. Fast enough and you'll come- okay, but just like before, if your influence gauge reaches zero or you run out of time, you'll fail. Well then, good luck. Okay. I don't want to fail because I really don't want to do this all over again. The from the doorknob. They didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. They used something of their own to remove the screws. Could it have been? Oh, I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stupid. 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 All stupid, right. Stupid, all right. Stupid, Come down. Stupid. Calm down, five-year-old. I have to show indisputable views and indisputable evidence. Uh, okay. All right, let's do this. Um. Where's your poop? What? You kidding me? What am I doing right now? Chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Stop talking. Shut up. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. Stupid. Have to get the combos, I guess? You lie. Shut up. Oh god. It would help if my game you doesn't glitch. You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Stop talking. I'm like in super concentration mode Shut right up. now. Here's your proof. Oh, oh, what? How did I fail? What? What the fuck? What? Please, for the love of God, tell me I don't have to do all that again. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't make me do this all over again, please. For the love of God, please. How did I feel that? I was doing combos. What? I'm confused. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's. Uh, no, let's just do it. Let's try that again, I guess. I I thought I was doing it right. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. Oh, I have to press both the buttons. I was only pressing one button. Okay. Tempo up, please. No. What? Where's your proof? This should prove it. Okay, I did it. Oh, fucking thank God. Yeah, take that. Take it right in the mouth. The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure the tool kits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the tool kit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got tool kits. So the killer naturally assumes there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? His own? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had he is totally Leon salty toolkit. right now. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. Ooh, busted! And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid! Stupid! Oh, he's fucking going insane right now, dude. So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem... We are finished here. Finally, that was the longest thing in my entire life. What the fuck? 
How long did that take? Like five hours? Did I get a good grade? Am I a good student? Fucking see. Oh, hey, good. I'm a good student. Yay, noise. Coins. A win. Slaughter him. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use okay, okay. it to make yours. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor. We get punished so minor, for not voting? Right? Okay, then let's get excited! Who will be chosen as the I, I'm, Okay, you're just will stretching you this out. Right we already choice? fucking know who it is. Or what's it gonna be? Stop wasting my time. Vote! Vote! Boom! Down you go. Isn't that lovely? We've got a bunch of coins. Do I actually get to keep them? I doubt it. Uh-oh, looks like you got it right on the money! The blackened in this case, the one that killed Sayaka, was none other than Leon Kuwata! Oh... Uh... Hey, hold on! Oh, hold on a second. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? I don't believe it! You son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! What the hell is wrong with you? I-I didn't have a choice. It-it was kill or be killed. So... that's why... None of you are any different! One wrong step and you'd done the s you would be the same one standing there! It was complete chance that I wound up like this! I was just... I was just unlucky, unlucky. that's all. Hey! Come on! You expect me to just accept my death? Everything's become clear. The decision we made was right, after all. But when I think about that, honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if what we came up with really is the truth, then the truth is that Sayaka was trying to free me. But, even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind... It's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Now we're trapped in here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. What? I can't afford to be Why? stuck in here. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else. Her dreams. Her friends. To have to see something like that happen to them. And Sayaka. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. And that's why Sayaka, for the first friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So when she said, No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. She was a lying whore. She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I... I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. <laughs> Boy, howdy, the entertainment industry makes sure makes terrifying, huh? Blah, I can't talk. I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. Ba -bum, ba -bum. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside she descended into pure madness. Wh what did you say? Phew. I understand. Really, I do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger to the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Sayaka being forced to do something like that? All of it. Everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly, in a frenzy, I, oh god, that's a bad idea. Don't do that. But... That's enough. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm with hesitation. Without hesitation. Her grip was like iron. Strong enough I was sure it would leave a bruise. Calm down. If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Damn it. Ba -bum. Ah, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were going to give me a good walloping. Just barely avoided punishment, you did. Yes, indeed. Well then, since you, go, since you so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the Black and Leon Kawada will receive his punishment. Oh god, what are they going to do to him? You mean... execution? Oh god. Goodbye, Leon. I thought you were cool. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. That's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense. How exactly was it self-defense? Hmm. 
When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you not use your very own toolkit? After she'd shot herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you understand? You had any number of chances to stop what you were doing, but you chose not to. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? So. N that's no, why that's not. Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. Oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? killed your precious Sayaka, do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka, either. Because... Because the one to blame is him. Huh? So, uh? If it weren't for you, this never would've happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation, the mastermind. Uh-oh, did you awaken to your sense of justice? Hey, well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetrate war all over the world. Hmm. Is that the kind of justice that awakened within you? Just shut up! Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, more importantly... Girls, let's hurry up and get to what everyone's girls. been waiting for, the punishment! I'm begging you! Please, please. don't do this! Hey. No oh, more begging, no more excuses! You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules! Society demands it! Stop! Please! Oh god, I feel so horrible right now. Well, God. I thought I was supposed to feel good about finding the killer. No, 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 oh, no, fuck no, me. No. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! I feel absolutely horrible right now. No! Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh oh. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. This game is like way demented. What? Holy shit, what is happening? What the fuck? What? Uh... Oh, are you kidding? We're gonna all watch this? Okay. Uh... What? Ow, what the fuck? Ow! What the fuck is this? That is so fucked up! That is probably like, a very slow and painful death. Jesus! Holy shit! What? Oh my god! That was totally fucked up! Wow, I don't even know what to say about this entire situation right now. Yeah, that's my face. That's about my face right now. That was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Whew, man. Woohoo! Man, my adrenaline is pumping right out of control! Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. I feel ya. Wh what's going on? I I can't take this anymore. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well, well, hey, if you don't like it, all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. That's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> Man, fuck you! Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? What the evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type guy! Or in this case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear! Well... Um, so why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a gruesome ordeal? Hey, um... Seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense! It's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. 
Hey, uh, don't you think that we're trying to say, and I'm saying quite fit to get- I don't know what you're saying. You piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. <laughs> you must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're breaking- you're barking way up the wrong tree. Yeah. What happened happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. <laughs> of course we can't cut free of the outside world. Being trapped in this insane p place. Hmm, you're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure you'll learn all the mysteries of the school you're thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's something deeper meaning hidden here. Just like before. Thrills, chills, uh, anyone else get the black and punish? That's the way everyone's going to blah blah. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I've got to say. I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> I think it has to do with that empty extra seat. And just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned to reality. Jeez. Oh, this this whole thing was intense. I don't even know how to feel. Lights up and